All right, guys, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video, man. Red Dead Online Blood Money video. In this video, I wanted to um basically do part, I guess you would say one. I, I don't really want to consider it parts, but I basically wanted to do one of the, how would I say, the contract missions, I guess. they like three-part missions in the game. And they kind of got like a story to them. So basically what I was going to do was I was going to do all three parts in the video, basically showcasing them off and just running them solo, showing them off. And, you know, basically I was going to show them off and I was going to show off the payouts. Um, each payout, you know how Red Dead Online where if you don't know, you know, each payout is a you have to wait. The longer you wait, the more money you get. So I was going to wait out to the last final second. Well, like 30 seconds and show off the payout. So. I'm just gonna do them and we're just gonna check these out. Um, I tried one already, just to, just to get a just to get a feel for it, and it was cool. So um, I'm just gonna continue going with the ones I haven't done. Then the last one will probably be the Jeb Philip one, the one I actually completely done all the way. Almost too good. Even his filthy letters smell like some old lady's gown. New offer from the Italian. Just need the damn Capitale. Bet the Italian has big plans for you. All right, I do have enough to do the standard version of this, but I want to try to save up to get to the ruthless. So I'm basically saving up my Capitale. New work. Maybe get some of your Capitale. My capital up, and this is the mission I wanted to do. Like I said, I already done this one, and I'm basically gonna do this one last since I gotta basically restart them. But I basically want to start the railroad contract and continue going from there. So, without further ado, let's start Black mission one. And a liar that's who he is, your new master. Railroads, I don't use them. Don't trust them. You know who makes the railroad? Parasites. They act like they're our saviors, but they're no better than me. They're worse. I'll prove it to you. There's a new track getting laid northeast of here. Go and steal their supplies. See how quickly the rabid dog bears its teeth. And they got some of your capitale, too. Up to their neck in it. What further proof do you need that they're filth? Go. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a word of warning. Y'all going to hear that word capitale, capital, capitalil, however you want to pronounce it, however you want to say it. You're going to hear that word so much throughout these missions. Like, I swear to you, you're going to hear it so many times. They, they really, like, run it up as far as that word goes. They don't, they don't hide back from it. All right, so go to Central Union Railroad Camp. All right, this one is brand new to me. I've never done it. As you can see by the star, I've never done this mission. I hear some wolves already. Okay, we got wolves. So this is new. Ooh, I didn't expect them to shoot me. Search the camp for the delivery schedule. Is this it? This has to be it. Let me put this up. And basically in this, you gotta like look for like lock boxes and stuff. That's like a big thing. Like theme. I don't wanna say theme, but that's kind of like what they have in this game as far as what you have to do, because you get a lot of capitale by looting people and especially from lock boxes. Like you'll open a box and it won't seem like there's nothing there. But you it's it's basically it, it'll pop up capitale in the corner. Oh, I gotta pick up the body. I didn't even pay attention to that. Let me go get this guy. Come on, my boy. Ooh, is that right in the eye? Right in the eye with it. I mean, if you're watching this, man, let me know how you liking the, the DLC down in the comment section down below. I'm thinking about doing a review video for it, maybe a week or so after, after I really get down into the nitty gritty about it. 
and I really know what's going on and how to and how I feel about it. Since I'm going to a vantage point, I'm finna get my Carcano. Since it's like some long range stuff finna be going on. Um let's go high velocity. I can't go that way. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that, man. I had another sneeze attack. If you don't know, I have real bad sinus issues. Okay, so we wait until nighttime. So yeah, I have real bad sinus issues. So if you ever hear me sneeze or something like that, or if I ever just cut and tell you I sneezed a lot, it's because of that. I had it my whole life. I don't know why. Hello? Tommy? You there? Still the supply wagon while the guards are distracted. I would have engaged in the shootout, but if I don't have to, I'm not going to. All right, there we go. Go, 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 go. Why am I not going anywhere? Why am I not moving? Here we go, there we go. Okay, I was stuck on something. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. It look like I'm out of there. Let me call Keith. I don't know why. I don't know if it's still like that. I haven't tested that out. But before the update came out, you would, like, if your horse went really, really far away from you and you would try to call it back, he would not come to you at all. Like, usually they would just teleport your horse closest to you. But they don't do that anymore. Like, I guess it's cool, like, if they was really going for realism or more so towards the story. But it wasn't never really like that. So for it to not happen in the line, it was kind of a glitch. Like, right now, I don't know if Keith coming my way. Because, like I said, I haven't really tested it out. I guess this would be a test. Yeah, he coming. Yeah, he on the way. Okay, cool. So maybe they fixed that. I don't know. I haven't really read through, like, the, 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 the bug fences, patch notes. Or whatever. It's really dark and foggy right now. Um, I'm going to try to do my best to brighten it up as much as I can for you guys when I edit this video out. But um, these missions are kind of like strange in a way because I don't want to... I want to like wait out the time limit. I know I said I was going to wait out the time limit, but... For the simple point of fact that I don't know, like, if this mission will have, like, different parts to them, I don't think I'm going to do it. And then it'll just save on, save on video time. If I decide to do a, a review, then I'll wait and show y'all, like, the actual payments for each of these. But these are the better paying missions as far as, like, money goes. And I think also gold. So, um, I know I said, I know I said I was going to wait until the last 30 seconds, but like I said, I don't know if these have different parts to them. Like I deliver this, then I have to defend, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just go ahead. Cause I don't know. Maybe that's the end of the mission. Okay. So that is the end of the mission. So f next time I know that that's it. Okay, eight gold, eight, I got, what, zero, pretty much eight gold nuggets, and I got nine dollars. Okay, so I didn't get paid a lot because I just went on ahead and beat the mission very, very quickly. And But since we right here to Joe again, I guess I'll continue to get the mission from Joe. Another, another good thing about these missions is, as far as the parts go, you don't have to wait. Maybe get some of your Capitale. You don't have to wait for the mission. So, like, right now, I could just go straight to part two, straight to part three, like that. So, let's just go ahead and get right into part two. You done good. Held a mirror up to the Central Union. Showed them the killers they are. They know you're working for the Italian. Things gonna get ugly now. So, there's only one thing to do. Make them ugly first. Burn them. Pillage them. Ruin them. 
Convoys, supply trains, workers. This parasite's full of people's innocent blood. And your precious Capitale, for that matter. We just need to squeeze it till it pops. Your conscience is clear. Go. Okay, so it's daytime. I was just going to say, I don't know why for me. I don't know if it's just for me, but it's like anytime I try to record a uh, Red Dead Online or a GTA Online like video, it's always nighttime for me. But especially in Red Dead, just playing the game naturally, like off screen and stuff, like off recording, it's just always so dark. Like this game is just always dark. I feel like they should make the days in this game longer. Because just at night, night, I don't mind the nighttime. Like the nighttime, you know, it's realistic. But it's just always so dark. And it's like really bad as far as like recording, like for lighting and stuff. You want your video to be as clear. And you don't want to have to like filter it out too much and all that. But when it's like this, it's just, I don't know. The supply convoy has not reached its destination. Take out the supplies while they are vulnerable on the road. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just gonna go in hot and just go crazy. So it's these things. You finna die, sir. <laughs> what you thought this was? You finna blow up. Witness vandalism, sir. I'm gonna need you to go away. I try to, I, I do have like a higher honor in this game. But honor to me don't really mean a lot. Like I just do whatever. Do whatever, how I feel, I just go with it. Maybe I should have looted them guys back there and maybe got some Capitale. <laughs> I actually like Capital better. But I've been, I've been doing running these missions with Joe all day. Not really these three part missions. I've been running the one off missions. The ones where you just do the job and come back and you're done. And I just been hearing that word so much. Like I done heard that word so many times. It's insane. But yeah, like I said, man, I think I'ma have a few. I'ma have a few videos out. Like I said, I'ma do pretty much all of these. I'ma do all of these missions in their own separate videos. So I'ma do part three of the other one. I don't know the name of it. Then I'ma do all three of the Jeb Phipps, Phillips or whatever his name is. I'ma do them. Then maybe down the line, I'm going to have maybe a tips and tricks video for this. If there's any really tips and tricks that you need, maybe I'll do a money guide if that's needed. And then last but not least, I pretty much do a review. Like I said, I probably do the review maybe a week or so after the DLC is out. Just to give it its time. <laughs> Look how he jumped. Ooh, I missed that shot. Oh, am I supposed to get on that train? I think I am. Let me blow up this stuff. Yeah, I'm supposed to definitely get on the train. I was definitely supposed to jump on that train there. I did not know that. All right, to the train I go. Let me shoot at these guys that's shooting at me. There we go. Okay, so I gotta catch this train. Oh, snap. I wish I would've knew that earlier. Hopefully I can catch up to it. Man, I did not know that it was actually gonna be on the train. I actually killed one of the guys with my sniper rifle on, on, on this train though. My jacket all dirty now. Yeah, man, I pretty much already did my first impressions of the video. That a train go. I pretty much already did my first impressions. I did not mean to shoot that. I did my first impressions of the 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 DLC. I don't know why I can't get my words out right now. Crap! I gotta get on there. All right, he did. I can't do nothing while I'm on this bridge. Maybe I can now if I can get lucky. 
Nah. Keith ain't gonna go. Keith ain't gonna go for it. He keeps sliding back right now. Let me reload while I got the chance. Look like I got a good amount of time to complete this. That's one thing I can say. They are very modest about the time that they give you. <laughs> so note to self, next time we do this mission, make sure you, you, you jump on the train as fast as you can because you will be like me chasing after it. It's crazy. All right, now nah, here, here I go. I got my chance. Come on, I'm going to the left, Keith. Stop being scary, my boy. I could have jumped on the train right there. There we go. Jump on the train. Jump to the train. Here we go. Right now would be a good time to have a shotgun, but I got my two pistols, so I should be good. Um, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Cornwall. And that's it. Mission pass. That's the whole thing. These missions going by quick. These aren't hard at all. At least these, like, even the Jebs, Phillips, like, the Jebs was a little bit more complex than these were, though. I'm not really making that much money because I'm not spending a lot of time in them. But the Jebs was a little bit more complex. Maybe the final mission, the final part, I'll be a lot more intricate if 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 I if I can say so myself. I just realized my hat fell off and everything. I need my hat, my boy. There we go. Um. So who's the closest person I can go to? I guess it's Sean. Yeah, it's definitely Sean. So I would fast travel to Blackwater. Is it a fast travel post here? It is not. All right, so guys, what I'm going to do is when I get to Sean, I'm going to come back and continue the the third and final part so we can get on with this video. So when I get there, then I'll start the final part. All right, I'll see y'all when I'm there. All right, guys, we finally made it. And before you ask, no, it did not take me all day to get here. I'm going to tell y'all right now, on my way here, it's it's literally like somebody flick, flicked the light switch off. It went from light, then my screen flickered dark. It just went black, and then... It came back and it was nighttime and rain. When it went nighttime and rain, it started raining. But it just flickered and it was nighttime. I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's because I did a mission that wasn't on the same time frame as free roam. I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. That, it was just strange. Like, it just came on by itself. But we finally made it to Sean and... Teddy sent a letter for you. Says you just need to hand over enough capital and it's yours. Yeah, we we yeah, we made it to Sean. Now we can continue with part three. Like I said, everybody talking about this capital now. Probably get some capital along the way. See, look. This is all people talk about. Um, Where is... Here we go. Railroad contract part What's three. Name again? Martelly, Martello, my belly. Ah, who cares? <laughs> That's funny. Now, it ain't often I sit before you as excited as I am. Truthfully, I'm a little giddy, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. This Central Union fat cat bastard has dipped his balls in the cream for the last time. That's right. Word came down the line from Martelli himself. He wants this robber baron brought to him alive. Naturally, I gave him your word it was as good as done. That's the what. Now for the hell. There's a railroad bridge under construction down near McFarland's ranch. Find the foreman there. Pop his lad under the hammer until he tells you where his boss is holed up. <laughs> The rest I leave to your natural creativity. And if this bastard don't have a stack of capital in his top pocket, I'll kiss the next Englishman I see. I hope you don't kiss the next Eng Englishman you see. I don't even think I want to even make you do that. You could, We got another dare. Just, just bet me 20 and we'll see. You ain't got to do that, my boy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but the lights just, it's, the weather just, I mean, not the weather, but the time just, we did weird stuff. It just instantly went to night. Like, like in GTA, like, have you ever watched the GTA video or played GTA on PC? And they be messing, the people be messing with the, the time of day. And it just go from night to day, from day to night. That's how it was for me. It just instantly went to night. It wasn't even subtle. Search for capital hidden in blood money crime. Kill or capture the foreman. 
Okay, so that's the foreman coming up right there. I think what would be best is if I went this way and maybe came up, like go across here. Get Keith to come across here. Get rid of my guy right here and just come up. Yeah, I think this will work best for me. As long as it's not the foreman, I don't really care. Uh, which one is the foreman? I think it's the one in the middle. Yeah, it's the one in the middle. Come here. You caught, boy. Let me get, let me holler at you. I'll tie the foreman. You're the one, aren't you? Who's been coming after us? Please, don't kill me. Don't let me go. Please. Loot the foreman. He's up in Big Valley. My boss, that's who you're after, right? He's getting a train now east. Just, just don't kill me, please. I don't know what I got. Didn't nothing pop up when I looted him. Maybe it's something story related. We'll see. All right. Let's go, Keith. Let's get out of here. We got the laws after us. We don't like them. I hope they don't find me because I will shoot if I have to shoot. I just killed some poor... What was that? A raccoon or something? <laughs> poor raccoon. He bit the dust. Yeah, man. So far, like I said, a lot of people. I haven't. What the world? What was that? He just instantly fell off. What was that? Y'all seen that? I can't pick him up now. Go to McFarlane's ranch. I can't pick him up. He just fell off. What the world? My game just glitched. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. He just... He just got got off. He just instantly fell off the back of my horse. He don't... He don't have a... I don't know what to... I don't know what to say about that. Um... Hopefully I don't fail this mission because of that. That'll be bogus. If I fail this mission, y'all seen it here first. He fell off. I can't pick him up. And it's still telling me to go to McFarland's ranch station. Maybe I don't need him. I don't know. It told me to put him on the back of the horse. I have no idea. I'm confused right now. That's wild, though. Um, yeah, I was going to say, let's go this way. I actually want to cut through. Here we go. And what am I supposed to do? Capture the railroad. There we go. Let me go ahead and jump on this train. I learned from last time. Don't kill him. Wait. Are oh, you? Nope. You here? Come here. And you better stay on here. There we go. There we go. I got some people after me too. Let's loot. Three times capital. Oh, I only got one pistol. Like what the world? There we go. I don't know what Keith doing. He just going crazy back there. Yes, I have a Turkman named Keith. This is one of my horses. However much Bronte is paying you, I'll double it. You triple it. Just name your price. Please, don't hand me over to those savages. This is all because of the Capitale, isn't it? 
Look, I swear, I won't touch it again. I won't have anything to do with it. Please. Y'all seen that? I almost bit the dust trying to run off, the, <laughs> trying to run off into the canyon. Yeah, man, you trying to triple my pay, bro. I'm gonna need about seven billion. I know you ain't got that. <laughs> I don't even think billionaires were a thing back in these days. Oh crap, we got bogeys again. Let me get my repeater. Anybody else? There we go. Chop them down. I think that's it. I don't know why Keith freaking out. He need to calm down to the safe house. Why does Angelo Bronte have a safe house all the way out here? We never knew nothing about that. I never knew nothing about that. I want to know exactly what they use as his safe house in this on this map. I got have to see it. It's actually dope to come back to like the New Austin-ish type areas because I never come here for real. Like I, I spend very little of my time down this way in Red Dead Online. Like I like this area because it's nostalgic. It's very much callbacks to Red Dead One. But as far as just like areas I like to be in, this is not pretty much this is not my number one i don't i don't spend a lot of time here per se if that makes any sense you know what i mean i know a lot of people probably love it down here especially down in tumbleweed when i do go there it's always people in tumbleweed shooting at the at the at the, at the law men and stuff it'd be funny they'd be going crazy um i'm about to cut across but I know this place used to be having like steep little cliff sides and stuff. And you never know what'll happen. Okay, so they're using the church as a safe house. So they're using this place as a safe house? What type of things are going on here? Let's get my boy up off of here. There you go. So I guess I didn't need that other guy at all to complete the mission because i was gonna say i thought that was a glitch at first 16 gold bars provision parcels i got up to rank 12 in the i got 76 dollars for that i got up to rank 12 in the gun gun sing, oh my god <laughs> my bad y'all the gunslinger pass um i actually want to look at it i haven't really been keeping up with what i have been getting as far as the, I said, the gunslinger pass, the quick draw pass, I'm super retarded. I even said it wrong. Um, so yeah, so far I got all the way up to rank twelve, and this is just in a day. It's not even really been a day of grinding. I haven't really grinded this out, but yeah, man, those were this was the the train variant of these missions um i really don't remember what they call <laughs> i'm sorry i wasn't really paying attention to the actual name of them i probably put them i probably put it in the title of the video though but yeah this was basically it um i wanted to just show these off like i said i got two more of these videos coming out so be on the lookout for them but as always any now support y'all drop on this video is highly appreciate it. like comment subscribe and as always be easy take care